Hey, what's up, Bay? Operation iDroid here, and yes, you read the title correctly. There is currently a GameCube emulator being developed for iOS, which is just mind blowing. GameCube on your iPhone or your iPod or your iPad, and it's being developed by someone you wouldn't expect. It's not Riley Testa, the developer of GBA for iOS, who once teased GameCube for iOS in his application. It's actually William Cobb, the developer of INDS, which if you've ever used INDS, you know how much of a great Nintendo DS emulator that application is, which is awesome because William Cobb is a great developer and if anybody can make a great GameCube emulator, it's gonna be him. And at the moment, this GameCube emulator is in alpha stages and it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's just crazy to see a GameCube game on your iOS device actually working and just the potential for it to continue to be developed and to get faster and hopefully one day run full speed on an iOS device. And I don't know how long it's gonna take for this development in all honesty. Um, there's no ETA, which is why I'm not going to be showing you guys how to get it in this video. Although, if you want to test the alpha of the application, you definitely can. Um, getting the application is sort of easy. I'll leave instructions in the description below if you want to try it out yourself. But it's definitely not playable. You're not going to be playing any GameCube games on iOS for a while. But it reminds me of NDS for iOS, which I started covering on this channel three years ago when it initially came out and it was only running at like 10 FPS and just seeing Nintendo DS games at that time on an iOS device was crazy and three years later here we are and we have INDS, an amazing Nintendo DS emulator. So with that thought in mind I can only imagine how great GameCube for iOS is going to be in just a couple of years. So. With all that being said, I actually reached out to the developer because him and I are pretty good friends and I asked him for some information that he would like to share with all of you guys and this is what he said. It's still pretty slow, but I'm hopeful it will start speeding up soon. Right now, it can play any game Dolphin in the desktop can. Also, the iPhone's hardware suits the emulator better than most Android phones of the same generation due to the iPhone having fewer but faster CPU cores. The slowness is caused by the poor quality of Apple's GPU drivers and a few advanced speedups not being ready for iOS yet. I'm hopeful it will run at a playable speed by this time next year, probably only on the newest devices though. So that is the information that the developer gave us. He says it'll probably be playable in the next year, but of course not perfect like INDS is. So honestly. I just wanted to make this video to share with you guys my excitement for GameCube for iOS or GC for iOS that may be coming in a couple of years. If you guys are excited as well for this amazing emulator, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and it shows the developer that there's people out here that want this application ASAP. So with all that being said, if you guys want to continue to be updated on GC for iOS, make sure to subscribe down below because I will continue to cover this application as it continues to grow with the development process in the coming years, just as I did with NDS for iOS three years ago, which I'm sure a few of you guys that have been with me for a while remember. So if you guys are excited for another amazing journey for emulators on iOS, um, please stick around and as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.